Hi there, Release Fire here. So I'm going to talk you through my Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga Droid Factory Frenzy walkthrough to cover off all of the mini kits and the challenges. Hopefully the video helps you out. If it does, as ever, drop a like below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. But you start out by taking down these Geonosians. It doesn't take too long and then you're going to transition over to R2 and C3PO. Smash this up, build it back together and then you get a bridge over to the other side. And then you can head on over and smash this up and again build it back together. With that you'll have a little control panel which R2D2 can access and that will activate the power into these blocks and then you can transition on over to Anakin and use the force to activate the other one and then you move it back into place and that will see you getting through to the next phase where Anakin and Padme can jump on down here to a little section where there's a big old conveyor belt that you need to duck on through. But the thing that you need to know is that you can jump up top to be able to jump up and get this mini kit. So that's the first of the mini kits done and then you just need to duck under the next one but jump onto the last one and then you need to climb up here to get to the top and jump on and use this zip line and that will give you one of the challenges. However, once you've done that, head on backwards to the start of that conveyor belt to this area and use a bounty hunter type to break this up. Now you should have just picked up Wessel who will be able to do this job for you but you might not have activated her so you'll need to spend a few studs to be able to do that. Once you have you can use it to smash that up and get to the top and pick up that mini kit. Then you can head on back to the bottom of the conveyor belt and that will then transition over to R2-D2 and C-3PO and you'll hop down here and that will bring you through to this section. When you go in free roam here you can shoot down the mini kit like that it should be relatively easy but it took me ages to find that I kid you not and then once you've done that you can jump on over to the other side and then you'll have to jump on over again into the middle section and once you get here you can aim for the blocks at the end and smash them up to be able to get on through and again smash this up build the control panel and that will allow C-3PO to take over the turret and smash up this thing here. Once you do that, you'll be able to use R2-D2 to activate that and that'll allow Anakin and Padme to make it through. However, before you leave this section, make sure you look at the painting that's being drawn and wait for it to be drawn as a mini kit break it up and that will give you one of the mini kits. You can then transition to Anakin and climb up here and use his lightsaber to be able to cut a hole in this wall. You don't actually need to do a big hole, you can do a really small one and it'll still break through. And then once you're through to here, break up the mechanism on the inside and then you'll use the blocks there to reconstruct a little control panel there. Padme will be able to access it so as soon as you enter in the code in the right way, you'll be able to make it through and then you'll get a attacked by a load of droids but before you go any further make sure you use Anakin to force control one of the Geonosians and use it to be able to attack some of the other enemies. If you do that you'll pick up one of the challenges. And then you can zip line on down to the other side and you'll then knock all of that down which you can then use to reconstruct the switches. There's one on the right hand side and one on the left hand side. Pull them down and that will trigger a little cutscene where Padme falls into one of the vats and you've got to rescue her. Now you need to rescue her in 30 seconds to be able to pick up the last of the challenges so focus on that on your very first run so you're able to rescue her in 30 seconds. However, you'll then need to go back and do Droid Factory Frenzy again anyway to pick up a number of the mini kits. And when you do, you'll be able to stop and take your time at the last phase and use a villain type to be able to grenade on through and then change over to somebody to grapple that open. And that'll give you the last of the mini kits. And that is everything you need to know about Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga, Droid Factory Frenzy, covering off all the mini kits and the challenges. Like I said earlier, if that helps you out drop a like subscribe with the link on the left hand side and you can see more of my guide videos for lego star wars the skywalker saga with the links on the right hand side leave any comments and i'll catch you next time